and i believe that one of the primary missions of the coalition of the rainbow coalition is to find a way to put america back to work this morning we're going to hear from some individuals uh, who have ideas and thoughts on this subject and have suggestions and recommendations and i hope that you will give them your very uh, careful and considerate attention. Let me introduce our first uh, speaker who is uh, a fellow, uh, fellow mayor and uh, we were uh, talking a little earlier before the breakfast and it, uh, I guess when two mayors get together, we always, uh, okay. We always uh, commiserate with one another, and that's just uh, that's just what we did. Mayor Bernard Sanders is the mayor of the largest city in Vermont, in Vermont, Burlington, Vermont. He uh, he was first elected in 1981, and has since been re-elected twice. And one of the great achievements uh, that any individual can accomplish uh, who uh, seeks to be mayor is simply to survive and be reelected and obviously the mayor has done that very well. The last time he won uh, by winning more than 50 percent of the total vote and there were five people running in that race. Mayor Sanders is an independent progressive who has won wide popular support for his program of serving the needs of the people rather than the wealthy few. His administration has not only expanded housing for the moderate income, provided daycare through opening the only public daycare center in the entire state of Vermont, and served the young people by setting up a teen center, helping consumers by lowering electric rates, and he's also increased voter participation by 250%. And that's an example that we could all look to. Now Mayor Sanders is poised, having conquered urban America, having conquered uh, the problems of the cities, he is now poised to lend his expertise, his dedication, his commitment to the entire state of Vermont by running for governor of the state of Vermont. Let us welcome Mayor Bernard Sanders of Burlington, Vermont. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mayor Hatchett, for your, your kind remarks. Brothers and sisters, I think what is happening here today, regardless of what's said, is already of extreme importance. I think all over this country today, there is a certain demoralization. And the demoralization is that some people believe that what goes on in the White House and what goes on in the Congress reflects the will of the American people. And by assembling here today, as the Rainbow Coalition and as other groups from 46 states in America, what we are saying very loud and clear is that Ronald Reagan and his billionaire friends do not represent America, but we do. Okay, what I'm here to tell you is that Vermont is a state in some respects, some respects, different than the areas that you come from. Our black population is less than 1%. Our largest city in the state, the city that I represent, has only 38,000, and we're far and away the largest city in the state. And so some of you, some of you may say, well, what does that have to do with America? What I'm here to tell you, though, is behind the ski chalets and behind the ski resorts, and behind the lovely homes of the rich stand people in the state of Vermont by the tens of thousands who are earning $3.35 an hour, are standing working class kids who once had the dream that all Americans have, that if you do your homework and you do what you're supposed to do, maybe you'll go to college. That dream is gone. In Vermont, like every other city and town in the state of Vermont, you have mo young married couples who had that illustrious dream, that illusion, that maybe someday they would have a home. My, what an illusion. They can't afford a home. And in Vermont today, in our rural areas, we literally have tens of thousands of people 
who can no longer afford that wonderful luxury, the telephone. Remember the telephone? In Vermont, many people can no longer afford the telephone, and they're having a hard time paying their electricity. And many of our elderly people now are scared to death of getting ill. And you know why? Because they can't afford to go to the hospital, and they can't afford to go to the doctor. Well, in Vermont, and I know all of you, we're trying to do something about it. In Vermont, the Rainbow Coalition is moving very rapidly and very aggressively all over the state of Vermont. And essentially what we are saying and what we're campaigning on is a very simple point. We're saying that for the last five years under Ronald Reagan, the rich people in this country and the corporations, those very patriotic people, you know those great big flags they always have? Those wonderfully patriotic people, they're not paying their taxes. It comes to us, those of us who are not so patriotic, presumably, the working people and the poor people are paying more and more in property taxes, more and more in sales taxes, but those wonderful patriots are so patriotic that the largest corporations in America, the largest 40, we have 40 major corporations that are earning $10 billion in profits. And you know what they're paying in taxes? Zero. You got it. They're paying zero in taxes. Those wonderful patriots. And then they go on television to tell you how patriotic they are, but not quite patriotic enough to pay for the taxes. And our friends in Washington, as Mayor Hatcher was telling us, who are so quick to spend $300 billion on the military, are so quick to tell us that it's imperative to our national interest that we have to destroy the people of Nicaragua, and we have to spend another $100 million to do that. They are so quick to tell us that that's how we have to spend our money, that back home, as Mayor Hatcher has indicated, they're cutting every important program that the cities and the towns of America desperately need in order to survive. Well, I think we have something to tell our right-wing friends, and that's what this movement is about. And what we have to tell our right-wing friends is that we intend to take back this country, and we intend to take back that flag. It's our flag. Yes, sir. Frankly, for too damn long, we have let them hide behind that flag while they don't pay any taxes, while they go around invading poor countries all over this earth. I had, a, I had a, an experience this last summer. I was invited by the government of Nicaragua to attend the sixth anniversary of their revolution. And they must have had four or 500,000 people out there listening to speeches. And I had this horrible thought. Among the many people out there were a lot of young men and women in the Nicaraguan armed forces, very proud of their country, prepared to fight and die for their country. And the horrible thought that I had really sunk in my stomach was that kids in my own city, young kids, working class kids, might be asked by this president to go to Nicaragua to kill and get killed. And it was a horrible thought. And I think clearly, as Reverend Juice mentioned, what's going on in this world is very clear. Never before, perhaps, never before have we been in a historical moment like now. The question is whether we use the incredible wealth and natural resources and intelligence of our society to create a decent standard of living, a decent life for all of our people in this country and abroad, or whether we develop the greatest military machine for killing in the history of the world. That's what the choice is. And I think by coming here together today, people in the Rainbow Coalition, Reverend Jackson, who I might add, and I think this is very significant, he came to Vermont when he was campaigning for president. Again, Vermont is virtually an all-white state. And he spoke in a community north of Burlington, it's called St. Albans, Vermont, which is a working class conservative community. It is not an intellectual community. There isn't a university there, not a lot of young students. He came out, the weather, as it often is in Vermont, was miserable. And he came out and he spoke, and many, many, many hundreds of people were there. White, working class people thought that he had something important to say. And I think the goal is that we all stand together, white and black and Hispanic and Asian, American Indian, all of us stand together. I think the opportunity is there. Let's get together and let's take back this country as ours. Thank you. to tell you, you don't hear many mayors talking like that, I, I guarantee you. 
very quickly uh, very quick announcement uh, anyone who wants tapes a 